actually it's already late in the afternoon it's 3 12 p.m on a sunday don't know if you guys can see that there there you go it's 3 12 p.m i've been receiving alerts from ndrrmc regarding the typhoon and apparently metro manila is already at signal number four so to prepare i'm already charging my devices i've already charged my phone i'm also gonna charge my spare camera battery and since my apartment is heavily reliant on electricity i'm gonna be cooking um or making two meals already so in case they shut down the power i already have food prepared this is the first time that i'm gonna be experiencing a signal number four typhoon while living alone so yeah i'm kind of worried but yeah let's prepare hey google please read the latest philippine news this is the latest from cnn Super Typhoon Noru strengthening as it heads for Philippines. CNN, Super Typhoon Noru, known locally as Super Typhoon Parting, is approaching the northern Philippines and is expected to make landfall late Sunday afternoon local time. Hey guys, it's now 4.08 in the afternoon. It's been an hour since I woke up from the heavy rains. Now, parang mas lumalakas yung ulan. So, let's make my brunch and also my dinner. I'm gonna make a big batch of meal para mamaya kakainin ko na lang siya ulit.
7.47 p.m. guys. I've already washed up. I've cleaned my apartment already. I vacuumed and also had my dinner kanina. Right now, hindi pa naman sobrang ganun kalakas yung ulan. But I can hear na mas malalaki na yung patak. Kesa kanina nung nag-check ako outside around 5.30 p.m. Getting increasingly worried about this. Because tomorrow is a Monday. It's a work day. In case magtuloy-tuloy, it will be difficult for people to travel. So hopefully, tumigil din siya agad. I just plan to be on my bed. Um, editing some videos and also watching my shows to release some of the, you know, stress of this weather. So, yeah. Let's go. 